So that was a lot of information. I'm going to go step by step here, just walk you through our base so you get a good sense of what the use case is. And I've already written out the formulas in this base. So you just get an understanding of how formulas work. So I'm here in my campaign tracker. Those, our first table is the launches table. These are all the pieces of furniture that are going to be launched in our company. And we create campaigns associated to each one of those pieces of furniture. So Xu table lamp, we have an upcoming campaign. And in the upcoming phase, that's when we decide which channels we are going to target for that campaign. So in this case, for Nebula Chair, we're going to write a tweet and we're going to write a Facebook post. For Xu table lamp, we're going to write a tweet let us a blog post and a Facebook post. And in this phase is also where we decide what budget we're going to allocate to this specific campaign. And the budget has with it an overhead. Overhead is always 15% of the budget. And that gives us a, a, a band in which we can play. So we can always be 15% under or 15% over. So here we have a formula field in overhead. And what that means is every time I run a budget, so let's say for Xu table lamp, we have a $10,000 budget. I write that out and you'll see that our overhead is being automatically calculated. So we see that that's now updated to 1500. This is an example of a formula field at work. Do another example. Let's say we update this to 50,000. That's our Nebula chair. That's our budget for this campaign. The overhead will automatically update to 15% of the budget. So this is a formula field. There we go. And I'm going to explain how this formula was created when we get into that moment. And if any, we ever update, let's say actually Ecor chair, the budget is now 40,000. You'll see that that recalculates automatically. The first formula we want to go ahead and build together is that budget. So I'm going to go ahead and first add a budget field. We're going to give this a currency field. Let's create that field. Let's give ourselves some, some budget examples here, just so we have something to play with. There we go. OK. So the thing when you're working with formulas is you have to uh, 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 it's a little different than what maybe formulas are used to. Let me know in the chat if you are if you use formulas in other tool like Excel or Google Sheets or any other formulas. And the main difference with those tools is that in Airtable, you need to have all of the fields you want to work with in your Airtable, in the table. So we have some folks in the chat, a lot of Excel experts here. So this might feel a little different than what you're used to. So in Airtable, all of your fields that you're using in your formula have to be in your table and they apply to every record in your table. So what I mean by that is let's say we want to calculate 15% of the budget. So I'm going to write 10,000 and we want the output of this new field to be 1500. So I'm going to add a formula field. I'm going to call this overhead. I'm going to add a formula field. There we go. Selecting that. And here it asks us, what is your formula? So if you are used to using other tools, you may want to select a specific field. But in our case, we in Airtable, you actually say, well, what do you want to do? So we're going to say, we want to take the budget. As I write that down, it gives me that field name. So I'm saying, take the value of budget for every record in our table, multiply it, by 15%, which is 0.15. I'm going to go ahead and format this as a currency without any pennies. So I'm just going into formatting, changing that a little bit. And this is going to give me the dollar amount, the 15% of budget across every one of my records in my table. So now I can't go and edit this information. It's automatically updated. If I update this to 20,000, you'll notice that this updates to 3,000 automatically. So two changes here, your 
the values you want to use in your formula field have to be in your table. And second, that formula applies to every record in your table. So let's just see how this works. If I'm at 50,000 here, you'll notice that this updates to 7,500 automatically. So let's actually break that down. And I'm gonna do this for every formula, make sure everyone understands. This is the formula we use. We set budget times 0.15. So in this case, we're having two parameters. Our first one is saying, take the value that's in budget. That's parameter number one. So it's always gonna take the value that's in budget, this one or this one or this one, and then multiply it by 0.15. That's the second parameter. And in the middle, we have an operator. It could be a multiplication. It could be a division. It could be an addition. Those mathematical operators that you're used to.